Oh my god. That is so good. Mm. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious, family friendly recipes. Today we're making salted caramel millionaire's shortbread. They are creamy, rich and delicious and I might just have to eat all of them by myself. So let's get cooking. We're going to start by preheating the oven to 150C or 300F. Now we want to line a 23 centimetre or 9 inch square cake tin with baking parchment. Now I'm leaving a little bit of parchment over the edge here to make it easier to remove from the tin later. Now Millionaire's shortbread is made up of three distinct layers. We've got that lovely buttery shortbread at the bottom, then we've got a layer of caramel which we're turning into salted caramel and then it's all topped off with some chocolate. So we're going to start by making the shortbread. So to a food processor we're going to add 225 grams, which is about two cups minus one tablespoon of plain all-purpose flour, along with 175 grams, which is about three quarters of a cup minus a teaspoon of unsalted cold butter cut into cubes. Pulse that until the mixture resembles fine breadcrumbs. Now add in 90 grams, which is about half a cup of golden caster sugar, along with a pinch of salt. Pulse again until you start to see it clump together. Now spoon that mixture into the lined cake tin. So now we're going to spread it out right up until the edges. And then we're going to use the back of a spoon to flatten it. We want it to be as flat as possible. Once that shortbread's cooked, we're going to remove it from the oven and start on the next layer, which is the salted caramel. We're going to do this in a small saucepan on the hob. So we're going to add in 150 grams, which is about half a cup plus two tablespoons of unsalted butter, a 397 gram or 14 ounce tin of condensed milk, 100 grams or about a third of a cup of golden syrup, and half a teaspoon of salt. Heat it on a low heat, stirring constantly until the butter is melted. Now we're going to turn that heat up to medium high and allow it to simmer. Stir it constantly for about six to eight minutes until the mixture thickens and turns to a darker caramel colour. So once the mixture looks like this, we're going to turn off the heat and pour it over the shortbread. Be really careful when you're stirring and pouring that caramel because it's like molten lava. Okay, now we need to let this cool completely. So I'm going to let it cool for a couple of minutes here and then we're going to place it in the refrigerator for at least an hour. In true Blue Peter style, here's one I refrigerated earlier. Okay, now we're going to pour over the chocolate layer. So I've got 350 grams, which is about 12 ounces of melted milk chocolate here. Now you can melt this over a bain-marie, or what I quite like to do is break up the chocolate chunks and then melt it in the microwave in 30 second bursts. Just give it a stir in between each burst. Okay, now we're going to pour that on. So pour over that chocolate nice and evenly. I also like to sprinkle it with some toasted chopped hazelnuts, but this is totally optional. Okay, so now we're going to leave that at room temperature until the chocolate has completely set. Once set, take out of the tray and slice into portions. And that's my salted caramel millionaire's shortbread. Oh my god, that is so good. Mm. The salted caramel adds a hint of saltiness and a different dimension to the traditional millionaire shortbread. It's perfect on a picnic or just in the afternoon with a nice cup of tea. Speaking of picnics, why don't you check out some of my favourite picnic recipes here. Mm.